Good morning, my nachos, toros, fiesta flowers, and maracas. Today, in the Word Work Center, you guys are going to be working on putting the correct word into a story. This is important because in your writing sometimes, you might be confused on which kind of verb you're going to need to use. So, first thing you need to do is you need to say with your partner. You're going to notice that there are two orange sheets and two yellow sheets. It's important that if you have a yellow, your partner has a yellow. So I'm going to move these orange ones out of the way. Then, me and my partner are going to get our yellow cards out. So, the first story we're going to read about is Judy's aunt. I would read the story with my partner, and then you're going to notice on each of these cards are two words. It's either gave, the past tense, or the present tense, gives. Laughed, the past tense, or the present tense, laugh. And then the past tense of help, which is helped, and then helps. Your job when you're with your partner is to see which word belongs in the blank. So for example, Aunt Barb put on a funny costume. She put on white makeup and a fat red nose. Then Judy, blank Aunt Barb put on a funny wig. What word do you think would go there? Then Judy gave Aunt Barb put on a funny wig. Does that make sense? No. Gives doesn't make sense either. I know that helped make sense. So then I'm going to say then Judy helped. So I'm going to get my dry erase marker. Helped. Aunt Barb put on a funny wig. They both laughed. Judy liked Aunt Barb's clown costume. Judy wanted to look like a clown too. Mom blanked Judy an old dress and wig. Well, I've already used helped, so what else makes sense? Does laughed make sense? Mom laughed Judy a dress and wig? No. Gave makes sense. So then right here with my partner, we would each write gave in the blank. When you're done, go ahead, boys and girls, and make sure that you upload this onto Seesaw.